Hello everyone, welcome to Frontier Hotspots, it is a channel focusing on the most cutting-edge technology and engineering in China and the world. Welcome everyone to follow the channel. China's Chan'an, Huawei and CDL, what kind of car can the three companies create? On August 8, Avid R11, a medium and large-sized pure electric SUV, was officially launched. On the basis of Chan'an's car-making capabilities, this car integrates Huawei's intelligent cockpit and intelligent driving assistance technologies, as well as batteries from the CATL. Equipped with high-level urban-assisted driving functions, Hongmeng System Car Machine, 750V high-voltage fast charging, and 0 to 100 acceleration in the fastest 3.98 seconds and other configurations and functions. If you have seen the report, many people should have seen the information about Huawei not making cars, but in fact, Huawei has launched several cars with its partners. And this car will also become a product that is closest to Huawei car under the current Huawei does not build cars system. Why is it a Huawei car? Although Avidrid is called the joint brand bred by these three companies, Huawei has not invested in it, and only has in-depth technical cooperation. However, among these three companies, Huawei's sense of presence is still very strong. Presence is mainly reflected in the sole part of software and hardware. The hardware and software that Huawei brings to this car is mainly divided into three parts. First of all, this car is equipped with Huawei Drive 1 3-in-1 electric drive. The motor power is 195 kilowatts in the front slash 230 kW in the rear, the maximum output power is 425 kilowatts, the maximum torque is 650 Nm, and the 0 to 100 acceleration is 3.98 seconds. The power is very strong. In addition, this car is also equipped with Huawei's TMS, Thermal Management System, Thermal Management System Solution, which uses a heat pump to solve the low temperature problem of the battery in winter. According to reports, this solution can improve the battery life of the vehicle by 20%. The second part is the car. The three screens in the Avid 11 do not adopt the triple screen design, but are composed of two 10.25-inch screens and a 15.6-inch central control screen for the main and auxiliary drivers, which is more natural in design. The car uses the Hongmeng operating system and uses Huawei's Kirin 990A automotive-grade chip. The Harmony system has been installed on some models of Jihu and Silas. From the point of view of the car experience of those models, the Harmony system has the characteristics of high fluency, large number of applications, simple and convenient UI design, etc. Compared with other models on the market, the Hongmeng system still has considerable advantages. The third part is Intelligent Driving Assistance. This car is equipped with the ADS full-stack intelligent driving solution provided by Huawei and also uses the Huawei MDC810 intelligent driving computing platform in the hardware part, with a computing power of more than 400 tops. In addition, according to Avatar, the three LiDARs on the body were jointly developed by Huawei and Avatar. This is also the second model on the market that uses Huawei's ADS solution. Previously, the Extreme Fox Alpha SHI version also adopted the Huawei ADS solution but a more intuitive difference between the two cars is the layout of the LiDAR. The Polar Fox Alpha S placed three LiDARs in the middle and on both sides of the front of the car, while the Avid 11 placed the LiDARs on both sides on the front fenders. From the point of view of driving assistance functions, this car will have a navigation assistance driving function for urban-slash-high-speed road sections, which is what Avatar calls the NCA Intelligent Driving Navigation Assistance function. Among them, the NCA Intelligent Driving Navigation Assistance function in the urban part of the city needs to be realized through the later OTA, and this function and the AVP valet parking function are all optional. However, the option price has not yet been announced. Through the combination of navigation-assisted driving and automatic parking functions in urban-slash-high-speed sections, this car can theoretically have a point-to-point -point driving assistance closed loop but it needs the blessing of high-precision maps. Therefore, the specific available areas for navigation-assisted driving need to wait for the gradual opening. 
Referring to the situation of the Polar Fox Alpha SHI version, the high-speed NCA function can already be used on nearly 200,000 kilometers of expressways in the eastern city, and the urban NCA area will gradually open to Beijing, parts of Shanghai, Shenzhen and Guangzhou. However, it should be noted that although from the experience point of view, point-to-point -point navigation assisted driving can have an experience close to autonomous driving, it is still L2 level, requiring the driver to pay attention at all times to shoulder the driving responsibility. In addition to Huawei's technical blessing, Huawei's high popularity among consumers will also escort the sales of this car. ATIO is the best example. In addition, this car will also be displayed and sold through Huawei channels, that is, entering Huawei stores. All in all, Avatar is the product that Huawei has participated in the most, and it is also the product that can best see Huawei's capabilities in the automotive field. So what did another partner, CATL, bring? CATL is the second largest shareholder of Avatar, and naturally there is only CATL as the battery supplier of the Avatar brand. The batteries on the Avatar 11 are all ternary lithium batteries provided by CATL. The long-range version has a battery of 90 kWh and a 555 km battery life under CLTC conditions. The ultra-long battery life version has a 116 kWh battery and a 680 km battery life under CLTC conditions. This battery adopts CTP module-free design. The system energy density of the long-range version battery is 180WH-KG, and the ultra-long-range version battery is 190WH-KG, which is at a higher level among current mass-produced vehicles. At present, all the versions released by this car are dual-motor versions. Coupled with the problem of body size, the power consumption of this car will be relatively large. Fast charging is necessary for power-hungry vehicles. This car uses a 750V high-voltage platform and supports up to 240 kilowatts of charging power. Under ideal conditions, the long-range version can be charged for 10 minutes and can add 200 kilometers of battery life. But at present, fast charging also faces another problem, the layout of high-power charging piles. Avatar chose to cooperate with BP, British Petroleum, and plans to build more than 100 standardized high-voltage fast-charging stations in 19 cities nationwide by the end of 2023. In addition, Avatar will also be connected to the public charging piles of suppliers such as State Grid and Teal. Another significance of CATL's participation in car manufacturing as a shareholder lies in the supply chain. With the rapid development of new energy vehicles, the problem of insufficient battery supply is also becoming more and more serious. Many car companies have to seek multiple suppliers for stable battery supply. An avatar has the backing of CATL, and it should be guaranteed by battery suppliers. Finally, this car also needs to return to its maker, Chang'an. As the largest shareholder of avatar technology, Chang'an will also be responsible for the overall planning, design and manufacturing of this car. To this end, Chang'an has carried out technical transformation in the first factory area of the Chang'an Liangjiang factory in Chongqing, and it is produced in the same factory as the Deep Blue SL03. In terms of design, Avatar has established a global design center in Munich, Germany, a global brand and software R&D center in Shanghai, China, and a vehicle planning and R&D center in Chongqing. Of course, no matter how much you invest in R&D and design, you will eventually need to look back at the product. This car adopts the shape of a coupe SUV as a whole, and also comes standard with a liftable rear wing, which makes the whole car feel very sporty. The length, width and height are 4880mm asterisk 1970mm asterisk 1601mm, and the wheelbase is 2975mm. However, the appearance of this car has been very controversial since its release. Although the slender headlights have become the standard of new energy vehicles, the Avatar still looks very different and has a high degree of recognition. In terms of suspension, this car adopts the suspension type of the front double wishbone and the rear 5-link, optional 265-40 or 22 high-flat ratio contact 6 tires, and Brembo all-aluminum opposite 4-piston calipers. It should have a good experience, but we need to wait for the test drive of the production car to draw a conclusion.
So, can this car become Huawei's next explosion?